important because I thought meth heads had a lot of pep. Apparently not this guy. So we reach his final destination, a pawn shop next to a uh, active crime scene or whatever the fuck it was. And this guy opens the door, but he doesn't get out at first. Instead, he starts rummaging through his book bag. And that's when I start thinking, <coughs> yep, I knew it. I knew it. I'm about to get shanked for pocket change. God damn it. Meanwhile, drops of Jupiter's blaring out into the streets and shit. Na, 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 na. And this guy keeps searching for whatever it is he's looking for. Finally, he finds it. And you wouldn't believe it if I told you. This guy pulls out of his book bag a fucking thing of Tic Tacs. <laughs> Oh, thank Jesus, holy hell. It's a bit anticlimactic, I know. But you guys can kiss my ass. I was happy not to get shanked by a shank. So the dude gets out of my car, and right before I peel out of there, like Smokey and the Bandit, I look at my phone to see how much money I made, and it was a whole $5.50. Oh, what the hell? That was an accessory to a third-degree felony for a whopping five fucking 50 My car smells like a fucking burning bucket of army, guys, for Christ's sake. You could have at least gave me a tip. Your tip is you got to keep your life, you little baby back bitch. So needless to say, I retired from the Uber life after that, and decided that making shitty cartoons for the internet was a slightly safer way to make money. So the lesson here is, if you're gonna drive for Uber, make sure you have some fucking Tic Tacs. Because meth heads can be pretty scary, but they still care about having fresh breath. The end. BruceDude.com Holy Jesus. That's <laughs> gotta gotta eat and drink. Keep that strength up, my dudes. No way, please, you promise. You stop. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? Recorded videos to capture the fun trip with his family. To his surprise, he also captured something he did not expect at the Tower of Terror. strange translucent apparition can be seen on one of the levels at the Tower of Terror. Now many of Sam's viewers believe the figure to simply be another hologram on the ride. But I looked through hours of footage of this ride on YouTube and I have not found any evidence of there being a hologram at this particular spot on the ride. In fact, this is the area on the ride where a picture is taken of the guests. <laughs> So the creepy apparition remains a mystery. But Sam isn't the only one who captured bizarre footage on the Tower of Terror. In this next video, a maintenance man is doing a routine safety and quality check on the Disney ride. He's completely alone. Or is he? The uncut footage is over two minutes long, but to save time, I just cut the video down to the spookiest parts. Did you see it? A bizarre figure appears on a seat behind the maintenance man, but it's only visible for less than a second, three twentieths of a second to be exact. What the? the figure then moves two seats away right next to the oblivious worker, and it appears two more times. 
Again, I check to make sure that there are no hologram effects in place in the seating area. And there are none. Also, the hologram <laughs> effects that appear on the ride show multiple characters, and none of them are seated as these figures appear to be. So it seems very unlikely that this would be a reflection. So just what is this? Could it be that the spirit of the man who suddenly lost his life on the Disney ride is still around? Or is it just some very, very strange light reflection? You decide. Mirror, mirror. Paranormal investigator Amy from the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV is joined by fellow ghost hunters Moxley's Paranormal and Ghosts on Trent as they stay at the infamously haunted 30 East Drive in Pontefract, England. They say that long ago in this very same location, a monk was hanged for taking the life of a young girl. The house is said to be haunted by his angry spirit, which they call the Black Monk. Throughout the house, there are CCTV cameras installed and one of them captures a very bizarre and chilling event as Amy simply looks at herself in the upstairs bedroom mirror. She makes like a creepy smile. Oh. <laughs> oh. Amy's face appears to distort into a horrifying gaping maw. Her mouth opens up to such an impossible extent that the investigators believe that they might have captured a paranormal transfiguration. The video is definitely very creepy and doesn't appear to be a digital glitch. But just what do you think happened here? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch the full two-part investigation at the Haunted 30 East Drive over on the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV.